Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thanks for joining us. All right, we wrapped up that little three-part series on that Tohatsu 18 two-stroker. And uh, got a little lucky there, we did. So, I've got a couple more victims in this here video. Um, one of them is just going to be... It's a cutie. Little itty bitty cutie. But on this one, I'm gonna show you that sometimes that's just how it how it is. It's that's just the way it goes. So gonna take a look at the little cutie first. Then we'll get up on this uh next victim, which is a little larger. Um Fella stopped in, said he acquired himself a new to him boat, and he wants a motor to slap on the back of it, and he looked around at what was out there and uh, thought he might like this one. So I'll show you this one here, and so let's get to it. fella come in here and says, hey, I'm flying out of here tomorrow for, well, I forget what he said he was flying out of here for, but he said he's flying out of here and he needs this little motor squared away and he needs it now. Now. Well, I've heard that one before, but anyway, it's a little cutie. It's a Little bitty, itty bitty, kitty, itty bitty, mini mini, cutie. And it's an oldie. He says that it'll start and run, but it just don't seem to have power and it bogs down. That could be a whole lot of translation all wrapped in, in a statement like that, you understand. So, what is the little cutie I'm talking about? Six horsepower. I told you it was a cutie. It's a nice little older six horsepower. Clean. But says it bogs down. Says it bogs down. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Hey, that ain't an outboard. There's an outboard. That is a little cutie, isn't it? So. I'm going to turn on the old sucker noise box and uh, we'll see if, well, let me see if I can get you in a better spot. That looks pretty good right there. And we're going to see if uh, it'll do anything. I hooked it up, squeezy the bulb, choke seems to be free and work. Make sure this, okay, everything seems to wait. And this appears to be a points motor. Let me see what year it is real quick. If it's on there, yeah, it's on there. Well, I can't see it right there. Let's see if I can. It's kind of all dirty and stuff. Oh well, I'll figure out the year in a bit. But anyway. 
Let's see if she'll start. Put you a little bit over here. There we go. Let's see if she'll start. Ain't got no safety interlock on that puppy. That's in neutral and it goes way over there. Maybe if I do that. Sometimes there's an interlock right there. But I'll just do it till it moves the cam butterfly thing a little bit. small point there I had the engine completely wide open and to me this motor sounds fine non venting fuel tank maybe bad hose maybe bad hose connector sucking air bad o-ring maybe doesn't do it unless it's under quite a load who knows but I've always said that sometimes I almost prefer a motor to come in here broken half than one that um, supposedly does what this one's doing so were they using you know marginal gas possibly had a little water in it don't know but 
I'll call the owner and say, motor seems to run fine to me. Um, now under a load, possibly, but, uh, but I had it wide open there in the tank for, you know, 10 seconds or so, and it seemed to do fine. I have a test wheel out there, but I don't think it would change anything. I might pop that on there, but I don't, you know, that's not really going to simulate a real world load, so probably best to see if I can have him come down here and uh, listen to it and try and make it do what it supposedly was doing but at least listen to it how it runs now because it seems to run fine so just one of those things you understand oh so you want to see some more cuties I can show you some more cuties some Kodiak cuties I'll show you three of them let's look Whacking him upside the head. Leave me alone. Time for me to leave. Alrighty, there's the 55 Johnson Seahorse Commercial. And I've got my spark spider hooked up. I've got a glove right there so the spark don't jump. Here's the wires. And look right these two. Well, I'm only seeing spark. Every once in a while I get a pop on that top cylinder, but for the most of them. Alright, I'm only getting spark on. Let me see which cylinder. This one, which is the bottom. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just look over the wires and see it's, well, um, boy there's a lot of, I ain't gonna, I don't know if that's supposed to be dielectric or what it is, but there's a lot of something there. So, 
think what I'm going to do is real quick I'm going to try another spark plug wire. So there's the one that was on it. And set this one over. Yeah. And here's that top one. Let me. The only reason I'm trying another spark plug wire is it had so much goo in that other one. Some kind of dielectric. See, there's more of it even on this bottom one. Huh. It's okay to rub a, you know, a thin coat of that, but you don't want to gop it on there. Now let's see if that changes anything. Now something seems like it's loose because it will fire once in a while. Hmm. Let's check this one. Ooh. Well, that's pretty rusty in there. That's pretty corroded looking. Let me get a. Let me get my wire brush. Just give it a quick, quick zap with the wire brush. Clean that up. It's pretty rusty right there. Seems tight on that coil. This wire here. Could have it's kind of loose too. Squish it a little bit, see if I can tighten it up. That felt a little better. Okay. Oh, duh. It would help if I hooked the spark plug wire back on there. Well, I got too hot and sparking. So I think it might have been this wire was loose. And way too much dielectric on that thing. But, hopefully... Watch these top two. I got hot sparky on two. So let's get this old compressionus gauge and let's move the sparky spider. Come on, you can do it, man. Jesus, crimity that was tight. There. Move the sparky spider. And let's put in the compressionus. Okay. Well. I'm at zero. Now I'm going to expect it to be a little harder for me to hang on to that drill because that's in there. Let's see what we get. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I figure as much. There's good, good compression in that cylinder, that's for sure. Almost, so 145, 147-ish. But you got to remember, that's a high reading because I squirted some triflo in them. And, uh, there I am at zero on the top. Bah! Let me spin it over four or five turns. Get my drill cord out of the way. That one felt like it had some good juju too. 
Where'd we get? Where'd we get? Got about 147, 148. Top and bottom. Now, like I said, that's going to be a little bit of, of a false reading. So, what I'm going to do with this print is clean up these plugs. They are Championis. What are they? L77 JC4, L77 Dirty JC4. I'm going to clean them back up. Then what I think I'm going to do, I think I've already got a starter for this cleaned up. And I'm just going to bolt the starter on there real quick. An electric starter and uh, take my battery power pack and just see if this puppy will start. I'll be back. Let me get set up. All right, we got the tank hooked up. I got my power pack. Now this throttle is froze up, so I'm hoping it'll start. Let me turn on this noise box sucker. It ain't gonna do much for this big old. Thing. See what we get.
Okay, this is kind of a weird one. I want to show you what we got going. Okay, I'm going to start this thing. You can see I got my jumper wire hooked between the kill switch. You watch. It kills it. But, now let me remove this. There's my jumper. Now I'm going to hook those two together. Okay. Let me turn on this sucker thing. Okay, I'm going to start it again. jumper. You know, you just never know what you're going to find with these crazy old outboards. Um, and I, so I started looking at it, and I was like, if you remember, I went over and got my wire brush, cleaned things up, cleaned it up. You see in there? See the post is nice and shiny and clean? At least I hope you can. Okay. Okay, now we look in here. I cleaned that up. It's nice and shiny and clean. But they're both males. They're both posts. So that ain't going to work. I mean, it might work if they get lucky enough to touch one another. But one should be a male and one should be a female. I don't know. And I mean, this all looks original. I don't see anything down there that don't. Here's the one going to the ground from the kill switch. But, and th this is a, the sleeves are male and female. <laughs> but there's two posts in there. I, I don't think that's how, how that's supposed to be. Um, I'll, I'll come up with some. <laughs> okay. Now... I have the male clip and I spliced in a female clip. So, oh yeah, that feels good. Let's see what happens. Kill switch works now, but I'll need to do a better job than that with it. Um, if I can push it on there far enough to get the clip on, we'll be good. And I'll put a little tape on it just for extra protection. Be back. Well, now, I was sitting here talking with Fret. He just got back from South America. Um, and uh, if you look at my last video, there's a fellow on there commented. He said, you know, that Cody Bass, he cocky. Hey, what do you say, Fred? And he said that that Cody Bass, he, he not funny. Hmm. 
Then he said, that Cody Bass, he needs to get an adult or a adult person haircut. That's what he said, friend. He's right. I was talking to Fred. He said, well, most of the time they just say you're crazy. That's a good point. He didn't say I was crazy. Well, Glad to have old Fret back. I'm gonna need him to predict the weather. It was 42 when I got up this morning. So I need to sit here and discuss some more things with Fret. All the abuse I've been seeing lately. Did I mention Fret was a certified counselor? So I need to get me some counseling. But, I want to thank you for watching, and that is One More Hack from Kodiak. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.